Minds nonprofit organization is connecting the community's talents with an expo called Making the Stage. Dr. Shelton Lynn and D'Angelo's Barber join me to talk about how they're highlighting these local artists. So thank you both for being on and talking to us about Making the Stage. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. So the first question that I wanted to ask you, tell me about Making the Stage. Why did you even start an organization like this? Oh. Making the Stage is actually a community-led initiative to actually increase the um, arts movement or augment um, the arts movement and increase making's presence in the art sphere here and um, provide a platform for the local artists, you know, budding season or homegrown talent, you know, to expose and share their talents with and the um, community. Mm -hmm. So just having a platform to connect those who may not have been, you know... Right, with limited access. Lim right, limited access, access or, right. Yeah, or some people that are... Uh, uh, don't know kind of like where to find or where the opportunities ex exist. So kind of like bringing that all together for them. Okay, mm -hmm. so what's the goal? Because this is a two-day event, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Two days to get these artists to come on. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the goal of the uh, overall project? Well, it's kind of like a do goal. So it's a, it doubles as making the stage doubles as a community fundraiser actually okay. to raise um, funds for youth to attend the um, Douglas Summer Theater Camp and other cultural arts program. Those with limited funding, um, and then also again to give the artists a chance, you know, to say, hey, this is if the arts can work together. It's kind of like serves as a symbolic message that the community can come together as well. Okay, yeah. so Dr. Land, tell me about how artists can get involved. How can they get on that stage and, and expose themselves and their talent? Um, simple, they can go to www.landminds, that's L-A-N-D-M-I-N-D-Z dot org slash make an expo, or they can call 866-868-4557. Um, so it's really, really simple to get involved. Um, they can just... Once they go on, they can just send a note, hey, I want to perform, and it's done, and then they just audition. Okay, so whatever performance, as and singing, dancing, Sing. monologues, well, okay. right. like D'Angelo may Artistic. have for us today, mm -hmm. right? You're getting right. a special treat right now. Yes, and um, D'Angelo is actually going to be a part of that Friday night opening, that benefit, that Wax Museum live piece, which um, is going to um, kind of like reenact some of the unsung okay. heroes in making um, Featuring Charles Henry Douglas. Well, let's go ahead and Angelo's hear some of that reenactment. Mm -hmm. This is of Charles Douglas, right? Charles Douglas, yes. Of the Douglas Theater. Yes. Well, in 1911, I, Charles Henry Douglas, opened the doors of the Douglas Theater and filled the stage with great vaudeville and artistic acts like Ma Rainey, Cab Calloway, Duke, Duke Ellington, just to name a few. Um, I was referenced in uh, the community as a prominent black entrepreneur. And I've even seen my name and theater listed in a few history books. The Douglas Theater was designed to be a place that black people could call, people of color could call their own and have a place to live out their dreams. Perfect. <laughs> well, thank y'all so much for thank that reenactment. You. Thank you. And there is more for you to see at Making the Stage. Thank y'all so much for being on. Thank you. Thank you. And again, Thanks, you're welcome. Thank you again and again. Making the Stage Artistic Expo. It's at the historic Douglas Theater, which is located on 355 Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. That's in Macon, and it will be held June 12th through the 13th.